Hey everyone of Witches of the Moon, uh, this is Quentin, your Friday host, coming on a Sunday to give you a video, my bad. Um, sorry guys, I got busy and uh, one thing led to another and here we are. Um, I actually wanted to do this yesterday, but I wanted to sit down and really think about it. Um, because this was actually a topic that I suggested, I pitched to uh, the group and they, they latched onto it and, and did it. And I watched... Um, pretty much everyone's video this week and they did an amazing job of already explaining what tonal alchemy is in their own way um how i feel tonal alchemy uh how i feel what it is is alchemy is just re really changing one thing to another and so in this case you're using tones you know we have um binaural stuff out there and we have the isochronic stuff out there um all these different things that are sound wise that are changing us in one uh way or another um music does this um i feel like even our own names are are, are tonal and aspect and they are are unique to us um just like our handwriting is very unique to us uh, one tip that you know, I know this is a bit off topic, but one tip that someone gave me for, for doing spell work or doing um, manifesting work, however you want to put it, is to do it in your own handwriting because um, it's very unique to you and it, it can your energy can trace back to you or something like that. And I found that like a really unique concept that that's true, that your your handwriting is unique to you. So why wouldn't you use that in your craft or use that in your manifesting work um it's the same aspect with your name your name is unique to you no one has your name not at least you know all your names together you know first middle last um so why don't you use that as well um one of the things that i um one of the things that I feel is very, very in touch with tonal alchemy is mantra work. I feel mantra work is um, great for anyone. Uh, in fact, that's what attracted me to, um, and in the beginning, that's what attracted to me to Buddhism because I was really into um, sound, producing sound when I was meditating because it helped me clear out things i feel i've i really felt like when i first started mantra work um that i was able kind of like to access this certain part of my body and um put out this energy that i wouldn't normally do just you know meditating on my own with no sound and i felt like it was um like a current for the bad things to kind of leave my body as well um I kind of liken it to the aspect as as uh, when someone is feeling down or feeling, you know, kind of over, you know, over agitated or whatever, and they talk to people, and sometimes it's just talking to people that calms them down. They might not even talk about the thing that's upsetting them, but they're talking and they're talking, and it's able to kind of calm their body down and bring them to a place to where they need to be in focus. That's how I felt mantra work. Uh, worked for me and I feel like um, it's a great aspect uh, to follow um, that's all I got um, I feel like music is another good one and I, I think everyone this week probably said that if I remember correctly I think the majority of them said that music is is great for accessing um, different parts of your psyche um, one day you might feel a little dancey and you put on some dance music and that helps you keep your vibe. Uh, one day you might need to cry a day, you know, let out some stuff and you, you put on some sad stuff, little, you know, Tina Turner or, or whatever it is that you listen to when you're sad. Um, I think it's different for everyone. Music is, is, is very unique to everyone's taste just because our ears are very unique to us. Um, everyone's ears work differently. It's not just a cut and paste. Every human has this ear. 
Um, granted, we all have this certain range that we, we have that we can listen to. But what we pay attention to, I think, is what really makes us who we are. Um, really, that's all I have to say to you guys this week. Um, I apologize again for the video being late, and I will see you guys next week. You have a great one.